Hi everyone, so I wanted to share a quick uh, productivity enhancement for uh, game developers. Um, I'm working on a project right now called Sarah in the City of the Dead and um, we're using the physically based uh, materials in Unity 5 and uh, so we have a lot of different maps, you know, color, specular, occlusion, normal, um, stuff like that. Um, by the way, uh, I am using the specular workflow and not the metallic, so anytime you hear specular, just think of that as the metallic or metalness maps, because it's pretty much uh, the same thing. So the way that I like to work, and I think it was most efficient for me, was to just have one source PSD file for an asset that had normals, specularity, uh, and an albedo or diffuse map, rather than having um, four or five different PSDs to open up and save out, one for specularity, one for normal. So I keep all of it in layer groups um, in one Photoshop file. So in my color group here, I have my albedo right here. So you can have more um, types of things in this layer or whatever. You could have a whole bunch of different things. So this workflow is not affected by how many things are in your uh, layer group. Just make sure that what you do want to export out is um, visible and what you don't want to export out, maybe you're working on something in there that's like placeholder or something, just uncheck the visibility uh, icon on it. And so I keep my specularity in here. I keep the alpha channel for the specularity in here and I just append uh, alpha behind it. So you would do the, uh, the same thing um, if you needed, I don't need an alpha channel for my uh, color, but if I needed a, an oh, if I needed an alpha channel for my color as well, I could put it right there. Um, I don't happen to need it because I don't have transparency in this, but hey, um, an occlusion uh, right there, and then of course you know your normals. So I get to keep all of this in one nice and tidy PSD. <coughs> So when I was working on Sword Coast Legends at InSpace, we had a tool there that was basically in the actions here and you could just <coughs> open it up. And as long as these were named CLR, as you know, this specular um, occlusion, normal and all of that, it would automatically export out each layer group, flatten it and save it out into the Unity project with, you know, it would say wood underscore CLR and I would know oh that's the albedo map or would underscore NRM for the normal and they would just one button click and so I was searching for the same kind of tool or functionality for my work at home and that's when I came across this awesome uh, person Ash Kendall was the original author of this script and there's his email in the script and he put this up on github um, it's free and the way to download it here is just download the zip <coughs> and that'll kick off the download and uh, I think I already have it I think that's it yeah and there it is it's just a .jsx file okay so which is a Photoshop uh, JavaScript action file so there's a specific spot you're going to want to um, grab that and put it so let's open that up and so here's the path on my Windows 81 64 bit workstation is in here um, program files Adobe Photoshop CS5 64 bit I think the important part regardless of OS is this presets folder scripts I think that's what's really important, Windows 7, Windows XP, it's going to be here in presets and scripts. Um, and when it is put in here, which it's right there, it'll be recognized by Photoshop and put into the scripts um, menu in Photoshop. So because I have it in there, when I go File, Scripts, um, there's my export textures. Um, if you don't see it, but you had Photoshop open when you copied it in there, you do have to turn shut Photoshop down and then uh, bring it back up, boot it back up, and then this will appear. It just needs to be closed and open to refresh. So there it is. And then I can click that, and then this is what the tool from that script looks like in the tool window. Another quick enhancement here that I did is we don't, you know, it's a pain in the butt to have to constantly go here. So I created a keyboard shortcut for it by edit, 
keyboard shortcuts. And then in the application menus, right here under keyboard shortcuts, I look under file because that's where it keeps the scripts. And I scroll down until I see scripts. And then export textures. And it'll highlight this. This is the hotkey. I tried a few which were already in use by my programs, but F5 was a good shortcut for me. And I hit OK and it saves it. When I hit F5 now, the tool opens up. Okay? So, um, this is what the tool looks like. The first thing here is the export folder path, which is basically where it's going to save it out to. This will be your Unity project. So I'm going to hunt for my test folder. That would be your Unity project. And then it's got the path set where it's going to save all of these textures. Um, so the albedo for me would be my color or CLR or diffuse, whatever you want to call it. And so when I click this first little box here, all my layers show up in here as they're named over there. So I can go and I'm going to close the tool out real quick and I'll add something to it. We'll open the tool back up and then there it is. See? Pretty cool, right? It automatically gleans the name of your layers there. So I'm going to get rid of this color alpha real quick just to simplify things. And I'm going to open the tool back up. Okay. And I'm going to set the path just in case. It's usually pretty smart about keeping it, but so our folder's set. Um, the diffuse for me is my color. I don't have an alpha channel I want to use, so I'm going to leave it blank. My metalness, since I'm using the spec workflow, is my spec or SPC. And uh, it does have an alpha channel I want to spit out with it in the alpha channel of the specular map. So I'm going to do spec alpha. I have a normal map and I have an occlusion map. Okay, um, I do want to overwrite existing files. I don't care if it's lowercase, which this is a pretty cool option. I don't care if it has the uh, under file name spaces to underscores, but I do want to close the exported documents when I want to save. It's not going to close my original. It's going to pop open each layer group. It's going to run an action on it to flatten it, save it out with the proper file name, and uh, this will automatically close those and you'll see it working. So I'm just going to hit export. And there it is. It's opening new windows for each layer group, flattening it, telling me that they were all exported. Okay, so I'm going to go and look at my test project folder. Ignore that my source PSD is in there. Normally if this were your active Unity assets folder in your project, the source PSD wouldn't be in there. It would be in a level higher outside of the assets folder in like a folder called source or something like that. So as you can see it spit out targas and it spit out wood color, my albedo, my normal, my occlusion, and my spec. And the neat thing about the spec is if I look in the alpha channel it automatically put the specular channel I made into the alpha channel of the spec. And the cool thing about that is, is I don't have any alpha channel in the original PSD. And the way that that worked was, here's my spec channel, just the actual RGB channel for it. And then I created a second layer group called spec underscore alpha, and that's the alpha channel for it. And uh, when I had the tool open, I'll open it up again real quick, and I set that, that's where I could grab that. And so it tells it, for the RGB, use the spec layer group. For the alpha, use the spec alpha group. And it'll automatically crank in the alpha channel into the RGB for that. It'll do it for all of these, the color, all the different ones. And I'm going to show you um, what it looks like when we turn off closed exported documents, because you may want this. OK, so it didn't close them. So there we go. There's the normal, close it. Um, there's the spec, and it's got that cool alpha channel on there. And there's the diffuse right there. Pretty cool, right? So with basically just a little bit of setup and one click of a button, I can save out a ton of different maps into my Unity project, and it'll neatly name them and spit them out. Um, one other thing I want to show you is <coughs> um, this CLR on the bottom here. When you grab his script, um, I modified his script just a little bit to spit out a custom name for me. It's not actually using the name of the layer for that. And uh, I'll show you. Oh, 
we don't want to snip it. I'll show you back in his script um, where that is. So right here, and it's not a big deal to modify a script. You know, you don't have to be a, a programmer or anything like that. This is where the layer name um, comes from for like the metallic. In the in the Photoshop window, it looks like this, but when it saves the file name out, this is what it does: metallic, normal, height. So when you export out yours, this is what you're going to see appended on the back of yours. I see. Um, I'll show you what I see on mine because this is my modified script. Um, well, I wish it was a little wider, but I changed it. So see, I have underscore NRM, underscore SPC, underscore CLR, just because uh, this, for me, uh, is just the naming convention I want to use, HGT. Um, but just so you know, when you use his, it's going to spit it out like this. But if you wanted to say something different, like underscore diffuse, just change this and save it. Okay? The other thing that I did. Um, last thing. When you open up the tool by default, these two right here are disabled by default. You can always just turn them on, but they're disabled by default. It's because I didn't never want to use uh, those um, functions at all. Is in his script here. I took lowercase file name, which is that thing that does that, and I set it to false in here and hit save. Remove file name space is true. I set that to false and I hit save. It will work perfectly fine. And so those are just the modifications that I did um, to get these naming conventions to match. Um, so hopefully this helps and speeds up the process of getting your materials and textures in your projects uh, going quicker. All right, thank you for watching.